So recently on May 30th, Carlos Maza, Maza or Maza? So he says, since I started working at Vox, Steven Crowder has been making video after video, quote unquote, debunking Strike Through. Strike Through is the name of his show. Every single video has included repeated overt attacks on my sexual orientation and ethnicity. So he's gay and he is Mexican. Here's a sample. So here's a sample of some of Steven Crowder's jabs at Carlos Maza. Before we get to the video, uh, with our favorite, favorite lispy sprite <laughs> from Vox. Does. It's ridiculous. It's bonkers. You're being given a free pass as a crappy writer because you're gay. That setter line on his little queer graph there. <laughs> what is, what is well, that Well, now line? the graph is queer? It is violence, filth. Okay, so the little queer could eat his chips all nonchalantly. It's code for rape, Mr. <laughs> queer eating chips on the Vox channel. Mm -hmm. Chip, 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 but you can eat just one. Like dicks. <laughs> this is what Mr. Gay Vox wants to do. Mr. Lispy Queer from Vox. Would I make these comments Steven Crowder has said? Um, no, I wouldn't say most of these things that he said. Steven Crowder said all these things and Carlos Maz is upset about it. I think it comes off pretty hypocritical though. Because if you go lower, we'll see. Look, look at this. Look at what Carlos Maz has done in the past, what he's tweeted. He says in response to people that he disagrees with, Milkshake them all, which means throw milkshakes on them in public. Oh, that that's nice. You're against Steven Crowder saying demeaning things to you, but you're fine with throwing milkshakes on people in public and humiliating them at every turn? How are you going to do that? Are you, are you not complaining that Steven Crowder is humiliating you, but you want to humiliate others? Okay, hypocrite alert. Make them dread public organizing. So you want to make people live in fear? Wow, this is really coming off as a bully. So he's on one part complaining, but then he's going over here and saying worse things. Steven Crowder is not advocating violence. He's not advocating making people dread public organizing or, well, he is kind of humiliating Carlos Maza, so that's true, but milkshake them all. Steven Crowder's not advocating milkshaking people. Check out Carlos Maza's Twitter page here. He says he's a gay wonk, so he's advertising it. I write Strike Through, that's his show. Marxist pig, that's what he identifies as. Tucker Carlson is a white supremacist. That was out of nowhere. He's just going to attack cut Tucker Carlson as a white supremacist, and he's against harassment. But he writes this on his page. I've watched Tucker Carlson many times. I've never seen him say he's a white supremacist. I've never seen him say anything that would resemble white supremacy and he's being slandered and by the way don't don't forget tucker carlson had his house surrounded by antifa a few months ago and they were outside his door harassing him at his house he has kids and his wife inside they're chanting saying threatening things and look what Carlos Maza says, Tucker Carlson is a white supremacist. And that's some of the stuff they were saying. Tucker Carlson is white supremacist. So he's talking about harassment. I don't blame him for Antifa going to Tucker Carlson's house. But he is spreading slander about him that did result or contribute to Antifa going to Tucker Carlson's house and bullying him. I mean, you get, just get a sense of the hypocrisy. If you are on my side, you can milkshake people. You can make people afraid. You can do all kinds of stuff, but if you're on the other side, you can't even say insulting comments. And what if you got milkshaked? What if somebody got milkshake in public? Could that not escalate to something worse? Or I think many people, if they got milkshake thrown on them at like a rally or, a, or some kind of protest, I mean, you milkshake the wrong person, you could have a big fight on your hands. This isn't the, the only thing. He has another video where he's kind of running cover for Antifa. Antifa, by the way, has been declared a, a terrorist organization by New Jersey. And Carlos Maz is like trying to minimize all the violence that they've done at, at different events. And we'll show you a clip of that here. Vox did a video recently, don't fall for the Antifa trap. So let's see why Vox says you shouldn't fall for the Antifa trap. Antifa, short for anti-fascist. It's an umbrella term for a group that shows up at protests to confront neo-Nazis and white supremacists. They dress in all black, they wear masks, and they occasionally engage in violence. 
<laughs> I love, it's like it's an umbrella term. Insert a bunch of good things. They fight Nazis. Well, who doesn't like them fighting Nazis? <laughs> they fight, they, they fight Nazis. They do bake sales. They and they they hit lots of people. and occasionally <laughs> they <laughs> bear maced old lady. <laughs> yeah, really. You could say the same thing about Al Qaeda or Hamas or any terrorist organization. Occasionally they commit acts of terror. Occasionally they bomb marathons and buildings, malls and schools. Yeah, occasionally. Otherwise, they're model citizens. And Bill's going next clip. But for a group that's getting so much airtime for being violent and dangerous, they're not causing that much havoc. And the, and the, and the word havoc, like not that much havoc. Like how about, there's either no havoc or there's havoc. Yeah, havoc's an intense one. Yeah, it's an intense <laughs> one. It's like, you know, there was a little, I don't know, there's a little bit of havoc in my digestive tract. <laughs> just a, just, from a, the just a smidge of chaos. Just a smidge, just a smidge. <laughs> of murder. Uh, only a little bit of havoc. What kind of a defense is that? Can you imagine somebody going in front of a judge saying, yeah, sure, my clients have assaulted hundreds of people and shut down events and firebombed buildings. They've only caused a... Uh, that's a minimal amount of havoc, Judge. I know Steven Crowder's comments were a little rough, but what Carlos Maza has done has been much worse. If anybody should be banned in this scenario, it's Carlos Maza, because he's advocating for milkshaking people, which is physical violence, and he is um, advocating for harassment of people and making people afraid um, to do to just do normal political activism. <laughs> <laughs>